playing DJ games with DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you. As a DJ, we could be hired to play music, but also we are there to entertain the guests. So certain gigs like weddings, sweet 16s, bar and bots mitzvahs, birthday parties and stuff like that, where there might be children or even some of these games are good for adults, it's a great way to break up the night and instead of just listening to the music and dancing all night, you can conduct these DJ games. So let's get right into it. The first thing that I would recommend doing is being prepared with a playlist. So DJ Pro makes it so easy for us to organize our playlist. So I'm just gonna show you right now. Where's my mouse? I'm gonna show you right now. Over here, if we go to my collection, I already made a playlist called Slides. Now these slides are, in some places of the of the U.S., people might call them line dances, and in other countries there might be different names, and there might be different s songs that you guys do line dances to. But where I'm from, this is what I usually play. So over here, we got the first one, which is the cha-cha slide. So this is a line dance song. So everybody is going to stand it in lines, and then it's going to say left foot, right foot, cha-cha real smooth and everybody knows it and everybody dances and it's a great way if the dance floor is dead to get some people on the dance floor so uh, the next one is going to be the cotton eye joe so where did you come from where did you go but cotton eye joe everybody loves the cotton eye joe almost everyone knows the dances so this is another song that i'm gonna have in this playlist and then after that is the Cupid's Shuffle. So this is another one of those line dance songs. And then of course the Electric Slide, Teach Me How to Dougie, and you can't forget the Macarena. So I would recommend keeping these in a separate playlist instead of just having the one that you made specifically for the gig. So when you think it's a good time to do these dances, you could load up this playlist, put on the cha-cha slide, and then load it into a deck and then what we can do is when this is playing we could set auto mix so we're going to set auto mix and now it's going to automatically do a transition after the cha-cha slide into the cupid shuffle so this is really good to take advantage of to take advantage of auto mix because now you can leave the decks hop on the dance floor and show people how to do the cha-cha slide and do it with them because if you're doing it and you're the DJ, you're basically the conductor, people are gonna follow what you do and by getting out on the dance floor is a great way to get these people to do these line dances. Now, the auto mix makes it so you don't have to worry, oh, I gotta run back to the decks because the song is gonna end. It will automatically mix into the next song and then if we go over here, so if we go over here, we're going to go to the mixer section right here. And then we go to this Q section. And now you won't see it at first, so it's kind of confusing on where it is with the new update. But if you go to skip, it's going to say slice over here when you first start it. And then if you switch from slice to skip, it's going to let you skip however many beats that you want. But what I'm interested in is down here, auto mix, start and stop. So we could start the auto mix in the beginning or a good part of the song, and then we could set the end. Let's just say we set the end over here. So anytime you play this song, it is gonna start at where you wanted it to start and it's gonna end at where you gonna want it to end and mix into the next song. So you could have it programmed that a perfect mix from the cha-cha slide at the right time into the cupid shuffle so while you're on the dance floor dancing with everyone it will do a great transition and now with these playlists now with these playlists what you could do is you can move everything over so you go over here and now 
Cha Cha slides first, Cotton Eye Joe's second, and but what if we want Electric Boogie? We could put that there. So wherever you put this in a row, it'll stay for even if you exit out of the app, you use the app from a different device, it will be saved there. So now instead of just playing the songs, you could set an auto mix and do the play these games and do these line dances with them. Now, another game that is popular at Sweet Sixteens and party with younger people is Coke and Pepsi. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your microphone and then you say, when you say Coke, everyone runs to the left. If you say Pepsi, everyone does this. There's a whole list of rules. I, I don't remember them right now, but get the rules down and then you could play that game. Another game is when the you play songs and when the music stops playing, everyone has to stop. I think it's called freeze dance. So you're gonna be playing songs and just be ready with be ready with an effect. Maybe put an echo on it. So when you cut out the song, you do an echo and it sounds really cool. Or maybe you could do a spin back or something. And that's a really cool game that you could play with your guest. Now another great <coughs> another great game that you could do is hula hoop. So you bring hula hoops with you and you pass out the hula hoop. Cool ways to do this. One way is just pass out hula hoops and play a good hula hooping song and everyone can hula hoop to it. Another one is that you get everyone in a big wide circle and you have one hula hoop. Now you play music and everybody passes the hula hoop from one person to, to the next person. And when the music stops, whoever is left with the hula hoop is out. So this is a very fun game to play at Sweet Sixteens and party with, parties with younger people. And it's exciting and it's challenging and people love to play it. Now, another game that you could play is called Random Callouts. So what you're going to do is you're going to be playing music and then the DJ shouts a number from one to five, depending on the size of the party. If it's a really big party, you could do five. If it's a smaller party, you could do less. And as soon as the people hear the number that you call out, they must run and get into groups of that. So if you say three, they run and make pairs and make groups of three. And whoever doesn't join the group fast enough is out. Now, another really cool game that you could play with DJ Pro is Name That Sudden Song. So what you're going to do as the DJ is you're going to play, be playing regular music, let everyone know about the game, and then it's like a mix between karaoke and DJing. So you get everyone on their feet dancing to regular music, then the DJ throws in the chorus of a random song. So you could just be playing a beat or maybe an instrumental, and then you could get the chorus of a song, and you could use Nero Mix and just play the vocals. Now, when you play the vocals of this chorus of the song, the guests have to guess which song it is. So you call on someone, and if they can guess the song, they get points, and you can make a whole point system. So I hope this helps you guys have more fun when you DJ, and also... Um, offer more services which you could charge more for at your parties and if everyone is playing these games and having a good time and doing something different than they usually do they're going to recommend you and they're going to tell all their friends that they had a great time with this dj so if you guys like learning new interesting out of the box ways to use dj pro and learning about djing with the ipad in general subscribe to my channel i make dj videos every single day